Crab Game Update 3 just dropped, and boy is it a big one. Starting straight out with three entirely new game modes. Death from Above, a mode where a giant slab of concrete thicker than your mum spawns in the sky with randomly cut out holes in it that players have to dodge into to survive the slam. This game mode is insanely tense, and bearing in mind that it gets faster and faster with fewer and fewer holes over time, it makes for a great playing experience. Next up is Block Drop, which is basically the opposite. Smaller slabs of rock slam down from the sky and build up and up, forcing players to continuously try and get the high ground or be stuck in a pit of death. This, like Death from above gets faster and faster over time, making for incredibly engaging and tense gameplay. The final new mode in this update is Standoff, a Wild West inspired shooter where players all spawn with a toy revolver and six bullets. The aim is to get rid of as many of your bullets by shooting other players without being shot yourself, as being shot will add one to your penalties counter and whoever has the most penalties at the end of the round is eliminated. Next up we've got general updates, free play slash practice mode has been added, letting players learn the game and maps without the competitive scenario, and along the same lines you can now choose your maps and modes when making a server, allowing players to set up lobbies where they only play maps they enjoy and don't have to deal with any they don't. To see what maps and mode a server has, just hover over the default or modified icon in the server list. If it's default, nothing has been changed, and if it's modified, hovering over it will show everything that has been changed. Danny has also done various balancing changes. Now for the mass of new maps, starting with the Death From Above maps, Lava Dump and Salty Island, where both maps are very similar, both being islands that you can fall off or be slammed on by the rock slab mentioned earlier, but the main difference being texturing changes. The final Death From Above map is Skybox, a box in the sky. Now we have Block Drop maps, Lava Drop and Peaceful Platform, both once again being retextured versions of each other, but they're still very epic. And then we have Chica Chamber, described by Danny himself as... Just a cheeky chamber. And finally, we have more new maps for the PvP group, aka the main group. Starting off with two Wild West style maps, very epic for the standoff mode, Sunny Saloon and Small Saloon, where Small Saloon is just a lower player count version of Sunny Saloon, and both have very cool styling. Along the same lines of the other Wild West maps, we also have Toxic Train, a set of three trains moving through the desert that adds a whole lot of spice to any game mode. Next up is Containers and Small Containers, they're vibrant and colourful maps that are both based on being over the sea, so that any minor mess up can cause you to be completely eliminated. And the final new map is Tiny Town 2, another small map that is loosely based on Tiny Town, which is a small town. Now we have the networking updates, Steam has turned some knobs on their end and made it so each player can only host one lobby slash server. This will not impact normal players, but prevents people from flooding the server list with their lobbies. This in turn has fixed the server list flooding, obviously. And Danny has also done a few other optimizations. It's also worth mentioning that Danny has yet to add customization, which he has said he's definitely going to do, so it's clear he's planning to support Crab Game and its growing community for as long as there's a significant enough player base. Danny has a huge problem, Ligma.